Hey everyone, it is Skylar. That is my name, by the way, my first name. Um, and welcome to my channel, Skylar Loves Movies, Vlogs and Travel. If this is your first time here, welcome. This is just going to be a, a little quick introduction about my channel and what I do and stuff like that. And what I do outside of YouTube as well. So, just so you know, my name is actually Skylar, spelled S-K-Y-L-A. I know, unusual way, I know. Um, and I do love movies, vlogs and travel. And that entails physical media of movies, which I'm just going to show you. I do collect movies. I am a movie hoarder. I'm very proud of that. I have over six and a half thousand movies in my collection. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I do, on the movie side of things, I do reviews um, and I do top ten Thursday lists. And I do mail days because I don't really like to do like out and about videos movie wise to go into the shops very soon I will be when I get a bit more comfortable in doing that with the, this vlog series that I'm about to do I will talk about that in a minute um, vlogs yes I am doing vlogs um, a lot of the time I've been doing personal vlogs like at home whatever but recently I've been getting out of my comfort zone and vlogging in public that is another thing that I want to do and I have been doing that and obviously I do travel vlogs as well and I have been to over 40 countries in this world in 39 years of life so yes I will be turning 40 this year but I look 24 because of my skin it's amazing yes so that is what my channel entails <laughs> in a nutshell um, so yeah, I'm also a fully qualified massage therapist and I became a fully mass qualif a fully qualified massage therapist in a place called Fuerteventura in Spain on January 19th, 2018. So I have been a fully qualified massage therapist for five years. Yes, five year anniversary. Um, yeah, but because I'm not under... In the UK, it's different to the... To Spain and a certain part of Europe we're under a ranking and last year I became number one massage therapist in Spain and in Europe so very very proud for that indeed so yeah um, I also specialize in facials and under eye bag treatments that are non-surgical I don't like to do anything surgical apart from doing the vitamin b6 b12 injections so yeah but my favorite treatment to do of all time i'm talking about me as a massage therapist is a treatment called the warco targeting massage treatment that is a massage treatment tailored to what you want and your needs and i named it after two very very special people in my life who are my inspirations that is jessica co for the co-part and AEW wrestler Wardlow who is my hero my inspiration he's the reason that I'm walking again get to do my treatments get to do my vlogs just he's the reason I'm actually talking to you guys today so yeah oh, let's not forget that oh yeah and he got me walking again because in 2018 I had a was in a really bad car accident and lost the use of the left side of my body and I couldn't walk I was on crutches and yeah he's the reason that I'm walking again so yeah we've got that bit sides sorted out um so yeah just to talk a little bit more on the YouTube side of things quickly um I just want to say this as well um if I do two YouTube videos in one week but don't do any like the next week or the week after just now um it might be because i haven't got nothing planned or or i'm doing treatments <laughs> so i could be busy doing treatments and that's why i haven't had time to upload the video but i'm hoping to do videos either on a wednesday or a friday Yes, and I have something planned for you guys, but it won't happen now for a couple of weeks because I had my tooth taken out. <laughs> so obviously, I'm only on like liquid foods and stuff like that for like the next week or so, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so 
yeah if you want to know um more about me just give me a subscribe um just for my new subscribers i do have over 1600 videos on my youtube channel but that's a period of over 10 years so yeah i have been on youtube for 10 years and um for people that don't know probably wondering oh is she american or is she canadian or whatever i am actually from a place called liverpool in the united kingdom i have um welsh um native american roots on my mum's side and on my dad biological dad's side i am fully blown italian <laughs> so yeah you might see me a lot of times talking with my hands that's just our italian way of how we do things so yeah i'm also italian and proud of it uh, bellissima <laughs> so yeah <sighs> so yeah and obviously i've been to 40 40 countries around the world and some of them have been vlogged for your viewing pleasure on this youtube channel which i really hope that you get a chance to watch and also well, like i do reviews top 10 thursday lists i do mail days um what i got but i do like mail days as well as well as products that aren't movies so from a company called Arban, because with me being a massage therapist um, I am qualified to use the treatments for my clients using Arban products. So, yeah. Which is a good thing to do. And I have been with Arban since 2021. Yeah. So, and that is why my skin is amazing. So there's no fillers, no, bo mo no Botox on my face or anything like that. The only thing I've ever had done is my eyebrows tattooed which it wasn't too bad but yeah um, if there's anything else you want to ask me I am currently gonna be sorting out a Q&A video because people a lot of people have been asking about my house so we will discuss that in a future video so if you've got any questions for me you can either post them in this video or go to like my social media platforms um, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram, it's Real Skylar's College and Treatments. That is my business account. <laughs> One that is a private account, though, because I have a um, a very bad cyber stalker, and I have a couple of bullies that I don't want them to be on my channel because I don't entertain bullies and stuff like that. Uh, my Facebook is my real name, Skylar Bronson. But I have three Twitter accounts. I have Skylar the Vlogger, which I don't use a lot, but I have used in the past. Um, I have Gore Queen Skylar. That is a Twitter account that is run by my sister and my two cousins. They post a lot of stuff, of, really good stuff about me. So if you want to subscribe to that, you can do on Twitter. But a lot of the time I just use my name, Skylar Bronson on twitter so yeah so if that's where you want to find me that's where you want to find me um so yeah <laughs> i'm just trying to think what else to say oh yeah one important thing that i really do want to quickly mention um well two things um for people that don't know i have a condition called wernicke's aphasia which affects the left side part of my brain so sometimes I'll just get the beginning or the end of stuff, never the middle or the middle of something, or the beginning but not the end. Um, and people have confused that with a mental health disorder. It's nothing to do with mental health. It's to do. It's a learning disability that can affect sometimes my speech, um, sending messages to my body to get me to react to stuff and stuff like that so it's very common and i do have a shunt stint whatever you want to call it in this left side of my brain it's still in there they do want to take it out and put another one in but nothing's been said about that yet so yes um and um what else do i want to say um i also don't entertain um cyber bullies or bullies on this channel or people that want to accuse me of stuff that I've um, 
I'm supposed to have said because recently I have been threatened um, and other bad stuff and people have twisted things and basically said it was my fault and it wasn't, it was actually theirs, I was the one that was bullied and another reason why I was bullied because my favourite wrestler is Wardlow and yes I do love wrestling for a couple of reasons, yes Wardlow is my favourite wrestler till the fucking day I die, he's the only wrestler I have tattoos about I don't have any tattoos about any other wrestler apart from Wardlow. Um, but um, I used to also wrestle as well. The only reason why I'm not wrestling now is because I'm not medically cleared to wrestle. Uh, that is another story. I will, if you want me to talk about that, um, do that in the Q&A and I will gladly talk about it in a separate video. Um, for people that don't know, because people have like said lies. Saying, oh, she's never wrestled. You just don't know everything about me. I've never had a chance to really talk about that in a, in a much bigger light. Yeah, will I wrestle again? I don't know. I don't know what the future's going to hold for me. I'm 39. Like, I did pretty well. But other than that, it's all good. But I want to touch on one more thing before I go, so that you like get to know me. Um, well, two things. Yes, I have a 15-year-old daughter. So yeah, her name is Tori, and she is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. And she is. And if anyone wants to say anything differently, kiss my ass. <laughs> but that's just me. Like I, I don't. Here's the thing, right? With about me, and I want people to understand before I finish with what I'm going to say. Uh, obviously, I'm from Liverpool, and we have a very sarcastic way of thinking, talking, and saying stuff. Um, and a lot of people don't get that. So they obviously are quick to judge us because of our accents. Also, also sometimes we speak too fast. We speak very, very fast and very, very broad, and a lot of people don't understand. So when we come out with certain words, um, some people don't understand or might take it offensive. But when when I actually explain what that means, like we could say one word and it means completely some different somewhere else. Like we say a word, like we all say a word, and it's the same as like someone in Ohio will say that same word, or if I say. I say this word called dingleberries on parade. Now that is a word that's commonly used in Canada, and my family use that them words a lot. So yeah, so so people don't understand. So people think, oh, we don't, we can't take jokes or anything like that. We're the biggest joke makers and takers in the freaking planet. So yeah, you have to understand that. I am a very sarcastic person. Sometimes I just say stuff. And I don't think it, which is, to some people it might be a big problem, but to somebody that lives in Liverpool, we just we just come out with stuff. So you just take them, as I always say, take things with a pinch of salt with me. Just, if you can't take a joke, then we can't have a conversation, because I am the most, one of the most sarcastic bitches in the fucking world. Excuse my language. But I just want to end on this as well, quickly. Um... Like, my YouTube channel is, like, it's my little baby, basically. And I love doing what I do. Um, I also, what I do for my YouTube channel is, channel is for memories. Because I also have, because my very first YouTube channel on this channel is me when I had a lot of weight. And I want to say this very quickly. Um... The person you saw on the very first video of my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, is nothing like the girl you see now. Um, in that video, I weighed 700 pounds. You wouldn't see it because I, I'd, I'd hide it, I'd conceal it. I now am 583 pounds lighter. Get that? That blows my mind. I've done that in eight and a half years. 583 pounds. And yes, I did have gastric bypass surgery. 
which helped a lot but my weight plateaued when I was when I lost about 300 pounds the last 283 pounds is me on a special diet and going to the gym that's all I done differently is working out and just having a diet and walking and constantly thinking of what goodness needs to go in my body because there's no shit that goes in my body anymore and I've learned that a lot I le I've learned a lot about nutrition and what's good for my body and what's not good for my body and I just want to say this to end as well because you do see it on my bio I always say any trolls, any cyber stalkers, um, any bullies, whatever will be notified by the police because I have I have had a past with a cyber stalker and the police have been involved and this person isn't allowed or any association of theirs to come on my YouTube ch ch channel, take any videos and they will go to jail. They've already been warned about it through obviously the police and stuff like that. So, and that goes for anybody. Don't take my YouTube videos because it's they're very personal to me and they're for my memory. I need them. It's from. I need to look back at them as a memory. That's what I do this YouTube channel for. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for anything like that. This is a hobby to me, and it's also I create memories with this YouTube channel, and I'm proud to create memories, and that's what I do. So. If you've got any questions or any queries about anything, if you want me to do anything, um, set your questions on here and I will be doing a and a in a couple of weeks because a few people have asked another thing and I will address it in the separate video. They've, they've actually asked me a couple of things. One about bull the bullying situation, which I'm going to address in a separate video. And another question... There's been three main questions that's been asked. Um, where am I going on vacation? And I will answer that right now. I'm not fucking telling yous. That will be just a spare of the moment thing. And you'll just find out whenever. There's only a couple of people that know where I'm exactly going. But obviously, everyone know I've got friends coming to see me in Costa de Dehi later on in the year. Like, to, like end of November time and we're all going to hang out for like two weeks and stuff like that maybe more but that's what's happening in November I've got that Tenerife holiday planned but a, a few other people have asked about my house that will be addressed in a separate video and another question has been asked there's been like four questions in total so Obviously, where am I going on vacation? Not telling you, <laughs> but I will talk about Tenerife in a separate vlog. Um, about my house, that will be talked about in a separate vlog. About my health, um, for people that don't know, I did actually have cancer. I have been in remission now since July of 2020. I had, I did have cancer for about 22 months and it did put a toll on me mentally I will be dis discussing that in a separate video and the last one is a very very important one there are a few people have asked uh, about wrestling um, and then there's another one um, where someone asked me um, do I want to do an in-depth in look at my collection or talk more about my collection and other little stuff so all of that will be addressed in a separate video um, and that's also the one of the reasons why this side of my hair won't grow very much and I very I have very very little hair on my eyebrows because of what I've just discussed so anyway I really hope that you like this little introduction video about me. Um, so, if you like what you, you see, um, if you want to ask any questions, put it down below. 
um, like this video, um, comment nice things, I always say that because what I always do is I, if I see your comments, I have to approve of all your comments as well, so if I don't like or I'm not happy with what you say, I will screenshot what you said, have it in a separate file and it will go to the police. So yeah, any nasty comments will not be tolerated on my channel at all whatsoever. So yeah, so comment nice things. Um, obviously, give me a subscribe. Um, I'm actually 10 away from 200. Yep. And on my 200, yeah, this is what I will also be discussing as well on that Q&A. I have two very special prizes for you guys for this 200 subscriber and I will talk more about that in another video so yeah I'm only 10 away so if you want to help this girl out get to 200 I would greatly greatly appreciate it more than you could ever 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 freaking imagine um, my ultimate goal one day will get to that big a thousand and I would be very very happy um, so yeah um, if you like what you see, um, just give me a subscribe. So, turn that, and there's a little bell. If you click on that, click on it to make sure that it's notified of all the videos that I do. Only because when I look at my antelis, ant whatever you want to call it, most of my, most of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. There's only like about 30 something percent that subscribed the rest aren't subscribed so I'd love for you guys that aren't subscribed come and subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot of great content for you guys and I'm working on a lot of stuff I've got a new editing thing that's happening and everything else so anyway so yeah stay gaudy and have unpleasant dreams and I will speak to you in the next video and also as well I will end on why do I s you're probably wondering why do I always say stay gaudy and have unpleasant dreams that's a saying I have said from day one of my YouTube channel. Stay gaudy means just stay true to you. Just be you. You don't have to be any other person, but just be you. And I've always said stay gaudy. And I've always said and have unpleasant dreams. Now, unpleasant dreams is a word that Elvira uses. And I love Elvira. Elvira is a fucking goddess. But I put and have unpleasant, but also my finishing manoeuvre is called the unpleasant dreamer. So it coincides with what I say at the end of each video. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk to you guys soon. <sighs> yeah. Ciao, ciao.